Hello and welcome once again to my channel. I am Choma Musu, and a lot of you call me Chimi. Okay, so our question for the day is, what is a hoop skirt? But before I go into that, I'd like to say if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. It means a whole lot to me. Thank you. Okay, so before I go into what a hoop skirt is, I'd like to take our mail, and our mail today is from Awojobi Oluwasheyi. So Awojobi Oluwasheyi sent in her mail and she says, Hello Ma, good evening. Hope you had a good day. Thanks for the video tutorial. Please, my question this time around is, what is worn under the gold ball gown to give it that round look and shape? Can it be made or it has to be bought? Thanks, I await your favorable response. Okay, so that's the question from Awojobi Oluwasheyi. So, Awojobi Oluwasheyi, actually, it's actually called a hoop skirt. So a hoop skirt is a skirt that is worn as an undergarment by women. It has been worn from generation to generation. I mean, a lot of women have worn the hoop skirt under their dresses. It is worn to give the dress a, sh a fashionable shape and it gives it that puffy look. So it's actually called a hoop skirt. And yes, I would be to answer your question. You can make it yourself. A hoop skirt is actually made from layers of tool and you can use crinolin, horse hair, you can use horse hair, boning, and you can make it yourself. You just cut it on a flare. It's actually a flared skirt and all this is attached, it's sewn round, you know, it's the flare. So you can make the hoop skirt yourself, but if you cannot make it yourself, definitely it's being sold, you know, you can buy it where bridal clothes or bridal dresses are sold. I hope this answered your question. And for those of you that didn't know what a hoop skirt is, I hope you have an idea or you now know what a hoop skirt is. Okay, so before we end this segment, you know I told you guys that I wouldn't be ending this segment without giving you a tip or a trick for the day. So our trick for today is to show you guys how you can achieve an invisible piping for your neckline. It's really easy. If you're ready, let's go into it. Okay, so this is our neckline that I've already cut out. You can see, and then I cut out a casing for the neckline. This is the normal facing that you cut out for your neckline already. So this is that. And um, I also have a bias tape here. I have a bias tape and I'm going to be using this. I think it's actually called a fishing line. I'm not sure what the name is or a fishing rope. I don't know, but whatever it is, if you know what the name is, please. I would like you to tell me in the comment section. But I'm going to be using this and I'm going to be inserting it in the bias tape like this. And I'm going to sew along. I'm just going to sew along. For this, you need a zipper foot. You cannot do this with your normal foot. You need a zipper, a zipper foot. So I'm going to use my zipper foot to hold it down then I'm just going to make sure that the fishing line or rope or whatever it's called is properly placed inside okay, so if you're having issues you just iron out your if you don't want to have a lot of issues just iron out your bias tape So this way. Okay, so I'm done stitching the fishing line inside the bias. So look at how it looks. Can you see how it looks? So next, I'm going to place this fishing line on the neckline. Mm -hmm. The right side facing the facing or the bias. I'm placing it on the right side. So I'm just going to give it stitch like so. So 
so this is how it looks i'm going to cut out the excess this is how it's looking cut out any loose threads can you see the way it's looking so now i'm going to use the facing that we cut out already i'll place it like this right sides facing each other at this point you can just decide to fold it in this way and you can decide to top stitch you know it actually would stay but if you want it to look better or cleaner you can use it facing like this one and place it on it you can use a pin to hold it together so that you don't make mistakes. Then you start to stitch. So that's why to use a zipper fold is very important because you don't want your machine or you don't want to stitch on the piping itself. So I'm just going to stitch and take off the pin as I stitch it. Like so. See, look how this is looking. It's actually perfect. So what you need to do next is to give it a notch. Just like this two but not two the next thing to do is to open it out and top stitch you do a top stitch on the facing to hold it in place Okay, so I've just finished the top stitch and this is what it looks like. Wow, okay, so this is it. You can you see how to do an invisible piping for your neckline? It's very, very easy. You just iron this and you can tack or use a hemming gun to secure the facing. you see what it looks like 